you know, the most valuable pig. Because first, it's something small like the injuries, you know, a, a, a pulled hamstring or a, a tenderloin, you know. Get one of those, you got to take a ride in that ambulance oh. on your way to getting cured. And then it's just more ham jokes after that, you guys. That's the whole big deal. So well done. It's Yukon. And lady number two in the green bib number two. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the original chauvinist pig. But he has since turned himself into a well-rounded individual. Make some noise for Sourdough Jack. In lane number three, in the orange bib number one, we named him after a very slippery Alaskan Gold Rush character. And that fellow was a con man. So keep your eyes out on that sneaky athlete. It's Slop, it's us. It's Soapy Smith. Forgive me, Soapy. Forgive me, Soapy. And finally, in lane number four, in the yellow bib number three, he is not the brightest bulb on the chandelier, you guys. Last week, he was invited to a luau and actually showed up. I know, a little confusion about them having him over for dinner, but he made it back in one piece because that's how fast he is. Let's hear it for Koba. All right, are you ready on the finish line? Ready on the starting gate? You piggy ready to fly? On your mark, get set, go! And they're off. That's it for these guys. Looks like UConn is going to be great, folks. But who do you got down the way for number one? Number four, UConn for the win. Woohoo! Taking that runner-up position is going to be number two, Sourdough Jack. We are called Gloucestershire Old Spots. These guys were developed many centuries ago in Gloucester County, England. In the 18th century, well, they brought them over here to North America. Unfortunately, by the 20th century, they did fall out of favor in our market. Their numbers began to dwindle, and they were put on the critically endangered breeding list. But with the help and hard work of the Livestock Conservancy, which we are very proud members and dedicated breeders, their numbers began to rise. In 2016, those little guys were upgraded from critically endangered to just threatened. So we support the hard work of the Livestock Conservancy, both financially and promotionally. So let's hear for the Livestock Conservancy and the dedicated breeders for their hard work. All right, let's meet our second round athletes in lane number four in the blue bib number six. You guys, we have a bit of a celebrity today. He is a five-time world champion racing pig. He graced last year's cover of Snorts Illustrated Magazine, <laughs> Swimsuit Edition. He wrote, starred, and directed his martial art blockbuster films, Pork Chop and Pork Chop 2, All the Fixins. He's the most interesting pig in the world. A huge applause for Bob. <laughs> in lane number three in the black bib number seven not only does he race fast he also eats fast his second job is competitive eating but luckily for us he races a lot cleaner than he eats he's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal it's sloppy joe in lane number two in the purple bib number eight you recognize him from a time long long ago from a pig sty far far away that's right it's luke sky porker <laughs> and finally in lane number one in the peak bib number five she is a crowd favorite everywhere we go she has a sweet name but that sweetness disappears when she hits this track make some noise for strawberry <laughs> All right, ready on the first line. Ready on the starting gate. We're going to go on the bell this time. Listen for the bell. There it is. And there you go, Jennifer. All right, they're on the bridge. Of course, here's going to be Luke Starts. So for Jennifer Starts, coming down to that last hurdle right there. Who's going to be? In the purple, number eight, Luke Sky Parker for the win. Yeah. He's been talking the talk. We want to see if he can walk the walk. Ooh, and he did. He came strutting out of the locker room. He took one look at the double high hurdle right here. He didn't even blink. You guys know these athlete types, though. They feed off the energy of the crowd. So let's give him something to feed off of. All right. We're going to do something special for him today. The moment he comes out of these gates, we're going to start him off with a nice, polite golf clap. All right? Can we do that? 
Just something nice and sweet for him to come out on. But after he jumps this first hurdle, we're going to add the real clap. He is going to come halfway to this bin, and we're all going to add the cheering. Because the closer and closer he gets to the double high hurdle, the louder and louder we need you to get. Sophie wants you going crazy hog wild to help that baby little pig fly over that giant hurdle. Can we do that for him? Sophie Smith, start your engine. Like that? All right. That doesn't sound too good. Let's start them out with a 3 2 1 countdown instead. Everybody, nice and loud. Three. And he is off. Did you know about that? Okay, all right. Your innocence says you are telling the truth. Let's hear it for Jane for helping us out, you guys.